Hello, in this clip, we'll look at how you may, as an administrator, be able to run and access the data from the results of any assessment, but in this case, particularly the district interim assessments. So first and foremost, we're going to open up our Canvas course. Now I'm impersonating an administrator or acting as, so my account will look somewhat different, but for the most part, you're gonna to come to where you see the mastery splash or the icon for mastery connect from your Canvas course or Canvas account. Once I'm here, you should be redirected to a screen look something like this. Now, you can confirm that it's in fact you by looking for your name in the top right corner. Because we are a site administrator, we have the ability to access certain things. So the first thing I wanna show us is to be able to go to where we see admin at the top. I'm gonna go ahead and click there. And from here, it defaults to manage. Now this is your ability that you can impersonate or act as any one of the teachers at your school site. Now this may come in handy when you wanna drill down to how did an individual student perform or what is the progress regarding the trackers of your teachers. So I wanna make it very clear as an administrator, you do not need to create any maps or any trackers. All of what you will be accessing is either from acting as a teacher or from generally just zoomed out view from the administrator portal. So we're an admin again. We're gonna start by coming over to where we see assessments. Now, because the assessments we're talking about in this clip are the benchmarks, I'm gonna go ahead and click on benchmarks. Now, all of the assessments have been shared for all schools so that we can ensure that every single site has access. Now, what that means is you might see other tests that you do not need to see data for. And if you were to click on a test that your teachers did not administer, there wouldn't be any data. But the fact is you will see all of the tests here. So you could filter. So in this example, we can just come to where it says subject. And I'm gonna go ahead and go down to math. Again, you can filter or you can just scroll and find the test that you want data for. But I just filtered so that we can look at only the math tests. Now, if you are looking as an administrator for data for language arts or math in grades three up, that data would be available inside of SIRS because the DIAs for those grades were in CASP. The data here would be more so for elementary TK through second grade for both language arts and mathematics. Or if we're looking at ELD data, we could see EL data for all of the grade levels inside of Mastery Connect. So here I'm looking at math for again, K2, and I might click on any one. So let's just say, for example, I wanted to click on right here, we see this little icon, shows a little bar graph, that's view reports. So if I was looking at grade two math DI number one, I'm gonna click on view reports. And this first bar graph that we're looking at is for the entire school. And it tells you by standard, how did your students perform on this particular test? Now, if you scroll down, each of the other bar graphs or tables correlate to each of the teachers. So in this case, this is one teacher of this site. This would be data for the other teacher of this site and the other teacher for this site. So again, the first set that you're looking for is the zoomed out to indicate for the entire school of this assessment and then individual teachers there. Okay. Now, if you wanted to click more drill down, you could click on one teacher's name. Now, when you're drilled down to a particular course or one teacher's class, you do have the ability to access and view the results for the students by coming onto their tracker. So I'm gonna go ahead and click right here where it says my teacher's name of her particular tracker. And that's gonna automatically display for me all of the results. So on the left-hand side, I can see the students' names. And then each of these columns is to indicate by standard how they had performed on this test. And this might be a quick way for you to quickly locate and identify either either scores that may be missing for whatever reason, or if maybe uh, an assessment hadn't been administrated or scores were missing for the entire course. So again, this is just one way to be able to drill down. I'm gonna go ahead and go back. And now I'm back looking at the results of the entire class. And I can go back once more to get back to the previous screen where we had seen the entire school, all that had administered for that particular assessment. And again, you could always know what you're looking at by looking at the top where it tells me in this particular example, it's the grade two math DI number one. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and go back to home. So again, we went there by coming to admin, clicking on assessments, making sure we were on benchmark assessments. Those are the district interim assessments. 
and then selecting whichever test I want data for. If you happen to pull up a, a test that you had not administered at your site, let's say for example, this is an elementary site, and I looked at, for example, the high school test. If I came to this little blue button where it says view reports, I would see that there's no data because my teachers did not administer that test. But you could always come to benchmarks and find whatever test you want. You do have the abilities to search here. You can type in a test or you could just scroll down and find the test that you wanted. Okay. Now I can also see that this window is still available and that's something so that I know when it, my teachers still have the option to be able to input scores or administer tests for. Again, where did I access the data? I hovered over view reports. You could also come to the three dots where you see more options and then it gives you the option to view reports as well. Again, I'm at the site. The first one is for the entire school and then as I go lower and lower, each of these is for the individual teachers that administer for this particular assessment. There's one more way that you can access data and that's by coming to where it's at admin, coming to reporting, and you're going to need to come to custom reports. Now, if you went to overview, you'll notice for the most part, it says that there are not standards. And this is because for the most part, these are based on the assessments that your teachers give formatively. Think of more like your common assessments. If you want data from the benchmarks, you're going to need to create a custom report. So again, come to reporting, select custom reports. And from here, you're going to add a report. In this one, I had already created a DIA number one math, and I added all of the assessments that my teachers in my site would have administered. I'm gonna come up to the top, click add report. I can give it a name. Let's say, for example, I wanted to call it ELD, DIA number one, create report. Now, there is nothing here in the report. I'm gonna go ahead and add the assessments. So any of the benchmark assessments, go ahead and select benchmark assessments that my school would have administered. In this example, we're looking at a or an elementary school site. So I'm gonna go ahead and select those particular assessments. So I'm gonna go ahead and click add TK to my report, add kindergarten, add fifth grade. And because of the way ELD works for most grade levels, you have three versions of the test for each of the grade levels. You have the emerging, the expanding, and the bridging. And you could always see that it has in fact been added by looking at this number. All right, so I've added all of the ELD assessments that my school would have administered. And when I'm finished, there isn't a save button. You can go ahead and come to the top where you see close, and it's gonna generate that report for me. And this would be able to display for me how my site as a whole had performed on, again, in this case, all of the ELD assessments, whether it be expanding, emerging, or bridging, okay? Again, how did I go about for this one? I went over to admin, reporting, and then custom reports. And I went ahead and created my report. And you can do this multiple times, but this is your way to access it. Now there's one final way that I will briefly show, and that's your ability to act as or go into a teacher's account. So I'm on admin and most of the stuff you're gonna interact with would be under that tab. Under admin, I'm gonna come to manage and I'm gonna go to my teachers. And what we're doing is acting as a teacher just so that I can see a more drilled down view of how they perform. This is your way to see and access the trackers for your teachers. So I'm gonna go ahead and select this teacher as an example. I'm gonna go ahead and say login. And then I can go a couple different ways now that I'm logged into this teacher's account. I can click on benchmarks and I can see from here how they performed on any of the individual benchmarks, right? I could go ahead and click on that and I would see access to how they performed on this assessment, but I could also come to the top where I see trackers and I could select their tracker. Now, in this case, this teacher had created multiple trackers. For the most part, I'd recommend that you look for the course or the tracker that has been linked to Canvas because that has been our recommendation to be able to create one tracker to link that one tracker to a Canvas course. So this is the one I want to look at. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And now I can see a very zoomed in view to this teacher's tracker. Now, when you first go into any tracker, it may not isolate the benchmarks. That has been done and we've recommended teachers to be able to go on tracker and then to filter. So you're not looking at everything in its entirety. I'll go ahead and 
act as if we were seeing everything, it might be difficult to just see the results and data for an assessment, which is again why we come over here to this little icon that says tracker and unclick all of these options right here so that we're only really looking at the benchmarks. And that way you can get a very zoomed in view. You can look at all of the students' names here on the left-hand side and how they performed percentage-wise. If there's any scores missing, you'd be able to identify those as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and click Return to Administrator and we're now back into the role we were currently previously at. That's it, I hope this video was helpful for you to be able to understand how to be able to access some of the data for your particular site. If you have questions, please let us know. We wanna be able to best support. Thanks so much.